Next, we'll have a special Michigan replay tribute and salute to a very good friend, Bob Euford, who passed away this week. Bob Euford, Michigan broadcaster. That's how we knew him and why not. For 36 seasons, we listened to him and his cotton pick and maize and blue heart through 362 straight games. His style was pure blue. When Michigan won, he reveled with memories of fielding H. Yost. When they lost, it was as if the world had come to an end. But Bob Eufer was more than a broadcaster. He was a Michigan graduate, a former track All-American, and world record holder in the 440. A devoted family man and father of seven kids, he never had to regret a moment of life. His love of life and Michigan spilled over into everything he did. He knew the players and liked them as young men. And appropriately, one of his greatest moments came in 1976, as he was the MC at a rally for a former player, the then President Gerald Ford. President Ford, I would like to present you with this gift on behalf of the entire Michigan family from all over the world. Today, your football team is number one in the country. You are the number one citizen in the world, and you will continue to be number one November 2nd, and it's all right here. So often, a person that's loved and respected by so many doesn't get their proper recognition until they're gone. Luckily and appropriately, the fans and the university he loved so much paid him back in a small way at halftime of this year's Iowa game. And it was all Bob Eufer would have asked for. And I want to ask you two questions. Number one, Bob Eufer, what school has the finest football tradition in the country? was a very, very special man, and I'm sure that you feel, as I think we all do, part of the Michigan family, that he will never be replaced. Now he was a great personal friend of mine and um, a great institution in Michigan football, and uh, his memory will live on forever uh, anywhere Michigan football is played. Uh, I'm sure the memory of Bob Eufer will be there, and somewhere uh, as he used to say, up there at that football Valhalla, Bob Eufer will be looking down every Saturday uh, to see how Michigan play. And I think, too, every college should have a Bob Eufer. Michigan, I think, was very, very lucky to have him. His loyalty was beyond anything. He would, he'd never criticize a player. I've never heard him criticize a coach. Um, he believed in everything that uh, we were doing, and um, he uh, loved college football because the things that college football represented were the things that he believed in. Discipline, hard work, dedication, uh, tremendous loyalty, uh, all of those things uh, typified Bob Buford, and that's why he was so uh, attracted uh, to Michigan football. Well, we certainly will miss him. He will never, ever be replaced. Thank you all very much for joining us this week, and please join us next week 
Well, we'll take a look at another critical game, this time against Illinois.